Well, hello there, here is Mr. Josh242. Lots of just to see this video goes to YouTube and GameAnyone.com, so uh, if you enjoy this, then I'm just going to stay uh, for a bit of first and then we'll continue to later. Which was technically a hit of Max. So, I, so, wait a minute, there's a light up so, there. So, yeah, enjoy it while the last people. Bosco Tech? Shh. Something weird is going on. Weird by our standards or everyone else's? Mr. Molman, please concentrate. Without your assistance, we'll never be able to contact Dr. Mama Bosco. No, we won't. You don't know what you're doing. wonder what's down this tunnel. There's only five or six ways to find out! Well, let's take the one that doesn't involve explosives or time travel. Spoil sport. Well, here we are, back in the Museum of Mostly Natural History. And look, Paperweight's office. Maybe he can tell us what's going on with all these Sams. Hmm, a trash can. My psychic clue sense is tingling. You know I can't stand looking at you when you dig through garbage. No time to indulge your delicate sensibilities, Sam. Look! What is it? Hey, 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 I just find the clues. And besides, I seem to have temporarily lost my ability to read. A disturbing side effect of your psychic abilities? Nah, I just can't be bothered. Well, sorry about that long bit, but I prefer not them. Um, hello, and let's... Now we got the letter from Sal, and let's... Maybe have to get his poor thing number. It's a letter from our old pal, Sal, <coughs> resigning from his job at the museum. Sorry, yeah. Should a six-foot-tall cockroach really be putting himself out on the job market in this sorry economy? Maybe um, we should ask him. He left a phone. Well, well, we got a long Sweet. thing to do. Yeah, lots of things to do, and well, now we have to turn people away from help. Yeah, but at least there aren't a bicycle of eldritch tentacles guarding it anymore. I don't think bicycle is the group word for tentacles, Max. Bicycle is the group word for tentacle. That does not make sense. Oh, oh sorry. Is you. We've got some questions. Dr. Norrington and no, I do not have no, 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 free no, 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 questions. We've got important work to do. Good day. <laughs> but I said good day, sir. Good. Well, I never. And what's the last thing to do? Cracking people? Privacy? By reading your mind, the car. Let's see. Foot, snake, oh, I can squeaker, easily squeaker. guess that. We somehow, should have guessed that one. Somehow it looks so obvious. Still remember the code? I'll have you know I've got a mind like a steel tramp. Tramp? Wow, you're really <laughs> lucky today, aren't you? A steel tramp you? would be a lot more fun in a bum fight. What are you doing oh, over there? That ugly. You don't understand. Human minds aren't equipped to comprehend. Hey, what? The guy's a midget? What the hell? It, was, it looked like a Ray Harry Hutton. Ray Harry Hutton would vomit. Up in this place, aided and regurgitated all over again. Yeah, well, no offense, but we get more unspeakable visages in our convention swag. So you're the mysterious yeah. Dr. Norrington? I am known by many names. Among okay, that means. Yogg Sagoth, Elder Fiend of the Dark Dimension. Oh, I'm yeah. so surprised. Kind of shocking, true, but not nearly as shocking as the horrific truths I suspect I yeah, must Yeah, we got to some lots of questions to fill. 
you and Paperweight seem to know a lot about that Devil's Toy Box that yeah. everybody keeps stealing. The Devil's Toy Box. Ha! You should be we were so We basically lucky. just one of the talking about? Pillows. The Toy Box is of a power far greater than that of your primitive one gods of and pillows. devils. Yeah, yeah. It is the property of done. my just grandson, Junior. Junior. You named Junior. your grandson yes. Junior. Junior. The youngest and most horrible Junior of, the elder of all things. His birthing whale shattered the no. supercontinent of Pangea. His first step sunk the proto civilization of Subarctica. Junior? Junior? In an what? You have to stop my Junior or destroy the omnibus. I brought many of my precious children. I thought it'd be a little more scary, like I don't know, anything ten times scarier than as well as a Junior. I mean, their frightening that's power. Pathetic. Junior? Unfortunately, when the Elder Gods were banished to the Dark Dimension, oh, God, Junior's yeah. toy box was lost during the move. And in the millennia, wow, he just could not stop whining about it. Junior, Junior? and he's just a whiny a little scary, prima donna. That's a lot scarier if you got the of larynxes to pronounce whiny it correctly. Whiny little brat. I mean, for something that huge. So why have the one and a half of you Me? been trying what? to get your hands yeah. on the toy box oh. all these years? Yeah. Yeah. To destroy it! Why? It's got all those cool toys that make my brain oh, tingle and my ears all fuzzy. The toys of power were never meant for mortal hands. For the sake of all that exists, they must be returned to the toy box and I don't want to destroy it. You're not gonna take my toys, oh, are you? Cool. Your chaotic mastery of the toys of power may yet prove useful in defeating the master of these blasphemous portly canines. Uh -huh. Hold the phone. Your Yog Sagoth, the world shattering elder. Yeah, God? all of this. Like something my non existent cat coughed up. Pop up. Curb your tongue, rabbit. No, no, paperweight. The naked one is right. This debased form is a pathetic shadow of my former glory. Long before the dawn of man, my kind was sovereign over this dimension and countless others. We welcomed the development of sentient life, drinking hey, deeply me. from your bottomless wellsprings of terror. And also your succulent hairy flesh. Ew. For untold eons, we lapped at the perpetual buffet of your horror and worship. Until powerful forces rallied to drive us back to the Dark Dimension. Forces? Primitive hybrids somehow impervious to our powers. You know them as Mole Men. Get out of here! Yes, that's exactly what they ordered us to do. You know, it's a lot harder to take you prehistoric Elder Gods seriously, now that I know you were banished by a bunch of Mole Men. Scoff if you must, but the mole people were much more powerful before they were genetically marginalized by the cruel twists of evolution. Just like Uncle Billy. So, should I call you Yog Sagoth or Norrington? Call me Dr. Norrington. When uttered by your mortal tongues, my true name sounds disturbingly like our term for number two. You should hear him say nuclear. Do you know anything about all these handsome brutes that are stealing toys throughout the city? The clones are meaningless. And chubby! Hey! But if they are truly stealing toys, then their master may be attempting to gather a complete collection of the toys of power. Collect all 1,024! Impress your friends! And destroy the entirety of existence as we know it! You've already borne witness to the damage that can be wrought when the Devil's Toy Box is mostly full. If the box is completely engorged, its power will tear down the walls of reality itself. So, aside from tearing apart reality, anything else you think we should know about the Plague of Me? Only that they should seriously consider a gym membership. So how did gigantic behemoth of an elder god like you get stuck in panty waste waste anyway? Papier wait! Silence! Several decades ago, Monsieur Paperweight foolishly attempted to summon me to this plane of existence. Uh, yeah, we uh may have heard something about that. Paperweight's infantile conjurings were doomed to failure, but the uncanny power of your grandsire's brain somehow managed to extrude an infinitesimally tiny fraction of my essence into this dimension. 
It became fused with paperweights unsettlingly hairless and ladylike torso. We've spent the better part of a century trying to retrieve the toy box and send the great Yogg-Sagoth home. And we would have succeeded last night if you hadn't lost your temper over that slobbering space ape. Sorry about that. What do you have to say about all those creepy tentacles we found in the cloning chamber? Tentacles? Yeah, like the ones your boy Paperweight summoned in the museum last night. Cthulhu's wattle! Oh, I'm using that. Only one such as myself can summon the Cilia of Torment. Whoever's controlling your clones must be awash in the forces of the Dark Dimension. Did you really just say awash? The only thing that can properly vanquish matter from the Dark Dimension is... The Chthonic Destroyer! What's the Chthonic Destroyer? Is it pointy? The Chthonic Destroyer is the ultimate psychic toy. A weapon so terrible that it was once used to drive the Elder Gods themselves back to their home in the Dark Dimension. Ah, oh, look. That Mole Man is smiting an army. Mind if we hold on to this? Sam's got a thing for illuminated manuscripts. If it will help you find the Chthonic Destroyer... Yes, of course. Thanks. I'll try to keep Max from drawing dirty pictures in the margins. Can the Destroyer be used against those tentacles? The Destroyer is proof against anything from the Dark Dimension. Me, the tentacles, the toy box... Sam, we gotta get one of these things! You'll have to find the hidden giggling realm of skittering ingestion if you wish to find the Destroyer. I didn't see Sal out there. Ah, yes. Poor Sal. He resigned after the incident with General Skunkapi's men. Any idea where he is now? I'm sure he left a forwarding number in his resignation letter, but I'm afraid I've lost track of it. I have a lot on my table right now. Sure you don't know where Sal is? No, but you're welcome to have a look around. Stay put. We'll probably have more questions later. Your kind always does. Whee! Hey, Yagi, what's this map all about anyway? Paperweight and I have been attempting to locate spots where the membranes between our worlds are the weakest, so that I can be sent home with as little fuss as possible. That's awfully polite for an Elder God who savors the taste of human misery. Edge has mellowed me. And now with that long sort of fellow out of the way, so let's go and Why are they... We now work at... Oh, hold on. At the, at the dock. Not kind of bad, having a good job. Even though you got beat up by some bunch of monkeys. You... And a bunch of doppelgangers! Gorilla. And now, now you're working in the dock. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, it's our little friend well, Charlie, the little nice little ventriloquist doll. Sam? Now let's pick our little friend up. Hey, look, Max. Uh, it's a cool friend, uh, Charlie Hotap. You are so much fun with Come on, Max. He'll give you cool ventriloquism powers, just like your great-grandpa Maximus had in olden times. Fine. I'll do it for the powers. But for the record, I want to make it clear that I find Charlie Hotap, like all ventriloquist dummies, completely creepy and disgusting. So are you, but you don't seem to be about, about it. Yummy. They're so harmless. At least they're not terror. <laughs> A pair of dummy. He's just like blowing people off. Hello! So yeah, that's pretty much the episode. So uh, until then, this is what you want for. Signing off. And